Hello everyone, this is Tom and this is the final project of the data science internship provided by Ozone. And in this project, I choose to deal with the image classification problem. Um, what I need to do is uh, to base on the image data set that is take, taken from a popular studio. Uh, so the images contains different categories that I need to predict whether it belongs to which topics. And, um, but the data set is really raw and unlabeled, so I need to repair the data set by myself before deploy the algorithm for the, for the uh, implementation. And uh, finally, I need to optimize the learning parameters uh, for the model performance. So first, I import some of the dependency and setting up the environment. Um, I'm using the TensorFlow uh, framework uh, to for for these projects, and um, next I load the data. Um, so this data set will have four different classes: um, architecture, art and culture, and so on. Um, so in order to easier for me to split it into four different classes uh, and pre-process the data, um, I using the image data set from directory method. So uh, I can easily split out from the images dataset folder. Um, after that, I split it into different batch, and then um, and then I show some of the um, images uh, example right here. So for uh, for example, this building right here will belong to the architecture, and the label will be uh, will be categorized in the one hot encoder uh, standard. So uh, similar to other photo, we'll have uh, this kind of label as well. Uh, next, I will scale the data down. So the, the number, the value will be varied between zero and 20, uh, 256 uh, for each of the pixels. So I divide it by 255. So it can vary between zero and one. Uh, yep, so after that, I split the data into three uh, uh, set of data. Uh, the first one is to use to train the model. The second one is to is a validate uh, set, so I can use to uh, optimize the, the hypermap parameters. And finally, I use the test set to test out my model. Um, so now I begin to build the deep learning model. So what I'm using here is the sequential model from Keras to building the to build the image classific uh, classifier, and um and I have to uh and I have to conv convolutional uh, layers so I can scale the images and then uh, put it into the next hidden layer. And um, the 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 active activation function that I'm using here is the is the ReLU, and for the um, for the final in the layer, I'm using the softmax as the output layer. So after I uh, configure my model, I begin to train it. Um, so I'm um begin to train it with three epochs. And um, after that, I plot the performance based on what uh, from the history of the training. So uh, this is what I found. So so the so the loss is um, is uh, is not very far from the this one, and the accuracy is very good as well. Um, and after that, I evaluate the um, the 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 batch from the test set. So I bring out each of these batch, and then um, using the some of the methods for uh, evaluating the model, like precision, recall, and categorical categor categorical accuracy, um, and then I uh, update it with different batch. So after I um, have all the value re evaluating value from from every batch from the test set, uh, I bring it out right here. So the accuracy based on this accuracy is 
very uh, good uh, model and sufficient for uh, for the deployment. Um, I also give a te the test um, method right here. So uh, I bring out a, a batch from the test and then show the image uh, to to predict it. And uh, for for this building, for this image, um, it belongs to the architecture topic. So uh, so so my model predicted uh, at forty six percent, which is the highest one. And so it predicts the architecture, which is uh, a, the crew label as well. So uh, after that, I save the model uh, for maybe the future I can reuse it. So yeah. Uh, so that is all I have done in this project. Uh, thank you for watching this video.